All right, seems like I have two viewers. Thumbs up already, yeah, smash that thumbs up. That like button. <laughs> Three viewers. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of a short one. Kind of beating a dead horse here. Already did a long stream last time I was here. A welding helmet, yeah, yeah. Those are those are actually pretty good. I have, yeah, I have that one, or I have the kind of the regular one. This guy that works pretty good. So looking at these, uh, I don't weld a lot, just stuff around the house. But these gloves look pretty good. I have some. Um, they don't sell them. They were brown. Yeah, 34 bucks. Yeah, that's the time to buy them, those helmets. Some cheap, I have some cheap brown gloves. That's, they work okay, but they leave like fuzz all over the place when you take off your gloves. They seem better. Four people. Harbor Freight has your zoom lock right here. It's the most unzoom lock kit ever. Yeah, I actually bought this kit. I think I mentioned that last time. I was in a pinch, and uh, my acetylene one uh, blew up. The diaphragm blew up, and I was in the middle of a job, so I had to. Harbor Freight was real close and kind of got me out of a pinch, and I'm still using it. No problems. Looks like they have some new welding wire. I heard bad things about the, the welding wi wire. Over here. Let's see. How uh, does the regulators hold up? Yeah, they hold up fine. Yeah, they hold up fine. So far, so good. I mean, a couple years old, no issues. I had some old... They were really old Victor ones, and finally the diaphragm just blew. They were really old. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Let me know if you want to look at something. I used wires. I used uh, their wire. Hey, Nick. Get me something. Yeah. I have their 90 flex core. Yeah, I have that welder too, Pete. The 90 amp flex core wa welder. I uh, use their wire a few dollars. You get Lincoln. Yeah, that, everyone says get the Lincoln wire, which is what I did for the for the welder. Got some welding clamps. I heard someone say, I think it was Eric. Uses uses like a clamp like this to uh, rope up sheet metal to a roof if you ever needed to do that. If you ever needed to, ten dollar. Not sure how how this would come into play. I guess if you were a welder, you would know. I need like a selfie or something. I should walk in here like with a selfie stick. I'm sure that wouldn't be a problem, right? <laughs> Clearance. Two fit there.
Yeah, this welder. Yeah, I have. Someone said they had this one. I have this one too. Works out good. Hey, Johnny. I mean, Joe. <laughs> Hyper Freight again. Yeah, kind of just beating a dead horse here. Already kind of looked at everything at the last stream. Let me know if you guys want to look at something. Yeah, I am Johnny. <laughs> I'm kind of, kind of messed up. Kind of tired. The monsters don't really help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's look at this um, tool chest. What's his name? Real Tool Reviews did a comparison video on it with uh, Husky and Harbor Freight's new one here. I think it's called the Yukon. He went all nerdy on it like he does on all his stuff and is comparing the bearings and it's painted on the inside. They have a good quarter three eighths bender. Yeah, what kind of bender, Joe? For, for copper or steel? The Yukon. Yeah, this one supposedly was supposed to be better than the Husky. I like it how it catches and closes by itself. And copper? Yeah, I think I showed that one last time, Joe, but if I'm near there, I'll show you. I'll show it. I guess it's ball bearing. It's pretty smooth. It's kind of cheap. I wonder how cheap the Home Depot one is as far as quality. Kind of jiggly. Double rails? Um, no, it doesn't. Bottom one does. Almost got raped. Power goes out on Harbor Freight. Not good. Let's see what else? What else? These cards are supposed to be pretty good too. to get out of there. There's a Harper Freight person and they dressed in plain clothes. Almost got doxxed. Uh, all the registers just went down. I hope they don't. Hope you don't. Yeah. The registers probably did go down. That's where's the jacks, floor jacks. Really? He has a... Avenue has a 
video on how crappy the Hercules drill is. I'll have to watch that. I don't think I've seen that one. I've been watching a lot of those Hercules stuff. Where the heck are the floor jacks? That didn't sound good. <laughs> There's the floor jacks. Oh, they moved them in the front now. AVE. This aluminum one seems pretty good. Three ton. Registers are right over there. Can't really film. I have the the gray three ton steel jack. It's okay. Yeah, the floor jacks are pretty good. I just need one with a decent lift because I'm always working on my truck. Not always, but when I do, I need to have good lift. But then when I work on a, a friend's Camry, it's not doesn't work out too well because it's not low profile. So I need to get something kind of with a high lift and low profile. Tenor jack. Oh, the toner jack is one of the great I heard. Yeah, that one seems good. Yeah, they're getting sued over that one. Oh, the gray floor jack kicks in. This one I've had, used it. Yeah, those old orange ones, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that Detano, Detona jack looks pretty good, but... Just, uh... I don't know, I just kind of... I want to try to avoid something like really huge and heavy, but I guess can't have everything. Anyone see the fight last night? Kind of was like watching it on live streams and stuff before they always uh, were shutting them down. Just watching them with my brother. Just not really into like boxing or stuff, but it's kind of entertaining sometimes. Joe, is this what you were talking about? Lifetime warranty. I think this is what you were talking about, Joe. Eight dollars? Six bucks. Yeah, that's the one. Six bucks if you remember. Amazing. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Why not? Do -do -do -do. I watched uh, someone else uh, do a video on these. He's he's an electrician, and he says these work out, you know, pretty good. 
for the money anyway. It's a uh, self-tapping drill bit, and they use it to uh, to um, do grounding screws and all that. Don't steal. I was only looking. I was only looking. Anything else? Anything else you guys want to see? Hey Joe, you ever get that generator? Four twenty cc predator motor. Okay. Didn't pull. You didn't pull the trigger yet. Manifold prices. Manifold prices. Greetings from Argentina. What kind of manifolds are you talking about? Let's see, this guy. This is the engine. Three fifty nine ninety nine. Limited time only. Act quick. I don't think you can use the uh, twenty percent off coupons off this stuff. Not sure. This one has the key. I don't know if it's a push start. It's the starter. So I'm guessing it's a push start. Or it can be. Yeah, less than 400. Yeah, the AC gauges. Well, the only gauges they have here are for cars, but I could look at them. Those are normally like 50 bucks. Or, you know, when they're on sale. Fancy, he used the Predator engines and he likes them. They ain't on the clones. Okay, let's look at the... I don't know where those are at. Maybe down here. Manifold gauges. I think they would be over here. I don't see them. Top left. Oh yeah. <laughs> Done. Why didn't I see them? Bucks. Okay, hold on, Joe. I mean, 
if you just need to work on your car, why not? Scotty Kilmar uses those and he seems to like them. Let's see, what did Joe say? Do they have a fluid extractor? Is this a coil out of the rear end? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know they have, a, they have a big one. They have a big one, Joe. I think that's near the floor jacks. Somewhere. But you could also use, you know, this as well. So while we're camping, it can be just charging our battery. This would work. But like I said, it uses a lot of air. This one's a little bit stronger, I think. I think they have like an oil siphon pump thing, too. Like a little squeeze, squeezy thingy. Like a hose. I don't see... I don't see that. A lot of workers today. I don't like that. Makes it hard to build. All right, Joe. Multi-use transfer pump. Oops. Ideal for changing oil, siphoning gas, and more. Use an air an air pump. Da 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 da. Yeah, this is like a little pump. Seven bucks. That would probably work too. I think this is what you need. Yeah, someone said to use that. Guess it worked out for you then. Dun, dun, dun. And then I was talking about this, but... This one doesn't look that good. That would totally work for hard to get drain pans. Okay, so this one has. Yeah, probably. You're talking about evaporator drain pans. Yeah, that would probably work. Yeah, that would. That's a good idea, actually. No electricity needed. Then they have. They used it to put new oil. Used it to put new oil or take it out. Alright, you're talking to someone else, Joe. The guy that used it. You want to put it in or out, Joe? Da -da 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 -da. Raider style air chuck. Huh. Looks like you connect this to air. Hmm. Interesting. I think this would probably do both, Joe, to put it in and out. Doesn't really say the multi use transfer pump. It says out and in. So this would probably work for you, Joe. Yeah, I think this is it, Joe. You wanna get it out? Yeah, I think this would do it. Out. In. This would probably do it, Joe. Thanks for the video, brother. Um, yeah, yeah, this is kind of cool. Harbor Freight, everyone likes to make fun of it, but the reality is we all like it.
because they have specialty things that you can't really get anywhere else. Here's get water out. Use it to get water out of your boat. Where's that? Uh, oh yeah, this is probably overkill, Joe. Yeah, the microfiber, microfiber towels. Yeah, wish I had to keep on for the free ones. I don't. <laughs> this one's probably the, the fluid extractor. This is probably what mechanics use all the time. This one's just the extractor. Transmission fluid, cure oil, coolant, and brake fluid. Yeah, this seems cool. But ninety bucks. It's like a bicycle pump. That seems cool. Right Hard to film, there's so many workers walking around everywhere. Can't keep on online. Yeah, you can use online coupons. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna get him bored. Let me know what you want to look at. What time is it? What time is it? 4.30. Chinese American flag. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Hang that up with great pride. I have the tech round LED light. Yeah, I knew what you were saying. I have the. Are you talking about this one? We're talking about something like this. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Ten dollars. Uses three AA batteries. Yeah, it's not bad. Got an adjustable swivel joint. Yeah, you like the magnet? Yeah, sure it's good. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, that's strong. <laughs> I'm kind of into rechargeable lights though. Because, you know, lighting just burns up batteries quick. Yeah. It's a nice watch style batteries. I shouldn't say watch, but you know what I'm saying. Button cell batteries, these big ones. Yeah, I showed these last time. These actually are pretty good. I used it. It's a good price. The world's worst batteries right here. Watch out when it says heavy duty. That means they're fantastic.
Let's see if we could look at anything interesting without getting doxxed. Like I said, there's a lot of workers today. It's like, they're like walking right behind me. It's like I'm holding up my phone. They could see what I'm doing if they wanted to. The way I'm holding my phone to landscape mode. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Flexible quarter inch drivers. I don't think I could film the Hercules stuff today. Yeah, I really, you know, that's the Hercules stuff and the Bauer stuff. Eh, you know, for the price that they want, you know, not saying that they're bad. No one knows really yet. But, um, you know, for the price, you could get, you could, you know, get something like a brand name, like a DeWalt or something else. And it has, I mean, the biggest thing is, they only come with a 90 day warranty and you have to buy the warranty like for 20 bucks just not you know if they really believe if they really believe it if they really believe in their their items they should give it a you know a warranty like all the other manufacturers I want their, I want their portable bandsaw waiting to see on sale yeah the portable 50 bucks they said, uh, yeah, a little bit more. You could get a brand name, yeah, like a Dewalt. Yeah, like I said, this, the thing is, to me, for me, the deal breaker is the warranty. It's like that's kind of it's kind of nonsense. I want a welder, but I'm kind of afraid that it will fail. Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, it depends what you're using it for. I mean, if you're I'm guessing you're probably not going to use it to make a living with, I mean, as far as a full-time job, but the welder actually, I mean, this is just a flex core wire welder, and it does, it does fine. I, I've, I have it, and I did a big, kind of a big project with it, and it worked fine. Portable bands. Hi, amps. I'm afraid don't mix white blue in your face. Yeah, actually, yeah. I haven't heard anything bad about their welders. As far as, you know, longevity, I mean, you can't really complain for the price. I haven't, I haven't heard anything bad about their welders. In fact, the guy, like, on YouTube, like, put, like, a strap on it and, like, made it, like, a portable welder. See, yeah, the portable bandsaws, where, you know, the new, the new Bauer one, um, that one kind of sucks, uh, Chucky2009 did a review on it, he's a welder, a famous welder guy on YouTube, and he did, you know, did a pretty good review on it, opened it up, it's just, uh, it's not good. It changed the blade, it just, the casting of it catches on the blade, and it's just, just not good. That's the new one, the Bauer. Uh, let's see if I, I don't know where that's. These are like the chisel hammers. Round square tubing angle. Yeah, it's good for cutting big pieces of metal. I don't know where the portable, you know, they're, oh, they're not in the display. Oh, here they are. One forty. It's up there. Can't really film it. The workers are right behind me. Yeah, but this kind of just came out. It's not. It's not good. It's not good. 
also get tail attached to the cut down the table. Yeah, you can attach it to a table or arc. Yeah, this one's not good. Yeah, the Chucky 2009 video. Yeah, he did a good video. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just not good. It's too bad. Unless he kind of just got a really bad, bad one, like a Friday unit, but probably not. I got a DeWalt portable bandsaw. I love it. Use it to cut all thread and steel, anything else metal. Need also good for cutting PVC. Yeah, that would be good for cutting big PVC and stuff. Hmm. Okay. Kind of getting bored, guys. Well, they have a lot of those bandsaws up there. What oh, makes a good tool for cutting all thread in a second? I don't want overkill. Yeah, yeah, he did compare it to the Milwaukee. But, you know, that's what he had. He was just trying to compare it to something, you know, decent. Of course, he probably got that Milwaukee one for free, I think. <laughs> but, you know, he, he needs that because that's what he does for a living, so you need to have a good one. Let's show this to my, my brother. He was working on his guitar and he wanted to file something down. He was asking for a small file. This would probably work out for him. Or something like this, too. Yep, no such thing as overkill. Nick and Joe are smart guys. We gotta listen to them. Don't ask questions, just do what they say and do as they do. Okay, I'm going in circles now. I'm gonna get a free tarp. I have a coupon. I think this is the free one. Yay! I'm only getting it because it's free. But normally I like the gray tarps because I don't like the blue tarps. The blue tarps just stick out too much. The gray ones are better and they don't. They last a little longer and they don't stick out. It's kind of getting quiet in here. Yeah, do as I as I'm told. But I'm your father, Joe. You gotta listen to me. Okay. Do you have any final requests?
Why do you guys wear these clear gloves? I know. It works on stuff. It kind of looks kind of gay though. You really wear the clear gloves. It kind of looks like you're wearing a condom on your hand. It's kind of gross. But yeah, they got Steve Glass. Right here. I think that's his hands. That's his hand on there. And see that uh, putty knife? That's for cleaning up the toilet wax. See? Seven mil gloves. Yeah, seven mil. I get this. I still have some. So these are just, I use these just for cleaning up messes at the house, clean up, you know, CC's poo poo and stuff like that. It's hair balls sometimes. You know what I mean? He makes a mess. <laughs> Yeah, why does he wear gloves? This I couldn't wear gloves all the time. I get too I get too sweaty. I only wear you know gloves when I have to, you know. If I was working on a toilet of course I would wear gloves. As far as the disposable gloves, I just get too sweaty and then Yeah, the clear gloves look like a lunch lady. <laughs> yeah. Clear gloves are kind of gross. I just can't. Makes me cringe. I see you guys wear those. I'm just, I'm crazy, I know. Wear gloves, come to home, and hands are stained black. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I keep gloves in my in my bag. I just never know. <coughs> like a blown up capacitor, just like a big oil mess. Prep tables, you know, you've seen that stuff. We only use the three footer when we do something on the job. I guess you're. Nick, you're talking about a break or something? I missed something. I know you're not talking to me. If you're a plumber, you would... Yeah. Ten foot break, fan, fan. <laughs> Ten foot break? Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, gloves are good. Gloves are good. Everyone agrees. That's good. That's cool. Alright. Alright. How long have I been streaming? 45 minutes? Hey guys, smash that like button. Smash it. I think I gotta go. I think they're getting wise to me. There's a lot of workers. Ooh, that's a cool big hand truck. Extra wide. That'd be good for units. Tires, we sell these last time. Carts. This, any balloon tires? Yeah, they got balloon tires. Mm. 
nest. They got balloon tires. They got air tires. They got everything you need. You need to come to Harbor Freight, son. Stop being such a Nazi. <laughs> I'm only joking. Yeah, this pull saw actually I heard good things about. Blue carts were awesome for P Tech units. Yeah, I would imagine. I'm talking about these guys. Yeah, it would be good for that. Yep. <laughs> Electric pull saw, it works great. Yeah, the electric, I want to, I wish I had it a couple weeks ago. I was cutting down, I was trimming uh, some trees. My neighbor has a lot of trees and I was trimming them down. I wish I had it. It's actually on sale today of the last day. I got the email. It's like 60 bucks. I got a coupon in my email. So I know 60 bucks, it's lowest priced. It's a plug-in, but it's good. I want to get that. Wish I had it. It was a nightmare. Yeah, you could use the 20. I would imagine you could use the 20% off that, so that'd be like 16 bucks off. All your trailer stuff. All kinds of good stuff, all kinds of trailer weird stuff. Yeah, the plug-in ones, yeah. Stronger motor. Yeah, and I would only be using it, you know, on a rare occasion, so it wouldn't make sense to get the battery. Yeah, the trailer stuff, all kinds of good trailer stuff. I'm not gonna read that, Joe. That's very, that's not, we won't tolerate that here on this stream. If I could block you, I would. I only have one hand. I can't do it. <laughs> okay, I'm only, I'm only joking. I love my son. We got rope, all kinds of rope. Tons of rope. Chain, chain is good. It used to be, chain used to be cheaper. Good, decent chain. Chain hoist. That seems pretty cool too. And we got this guy, Joe. You have this. You like this, Joe? I didn't. I haven't watched your video on that, but it looks like you were changing a compressor in a big mana unit. So you kind of use that to get that uh, compressor out. Yeah, I kind of, I'm kind of a uh, get my back out of place sometimes. Like I've always been messed up, even when I was a young guy. Young lad. Just gotta take it easy on myself. The freight brand zoom lock? Probably not. Yeah, zoom lock. I won't say anything bad about the zoom lock. Because I'm gonna be sponsored by Sporlin soon. Just so you guys know. They contact me, you know, they wanted me to stop making fun of them, so kind of sold out. <laughs> Joe. 
Kayla, you're funny. You're a funny guy. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna get going, guys. Unless there's any special requests. I mean, yeah, the zoom lock. You guys want me to talk about the zoom lock? Even though I know nothing about it. Besides watching those commercials. I mean, I think kind of cutting off the compressor valves. I don't know. It kind of seems kind of... I don't know about that. Like, is that really time-saving? Like, cutting off the, compre you know, the condensing unit valves with a multi-tool just so you could use that tool on there? I don't know. Yep, I like it. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta watch, you know, your videos, Joe. There's so much, you know, there's so much videos, you know, to watch. It's hard to... But I guess I did, because I don't really watch TV anymore. Yeah, how much is that zoom lock? I've heard 2500 and I've heard 3500 which I guess I should just look it up. But which is it? 3500 Yeah. Sorry, Joe. No, I, I, I do watch. I do watch. Just, I can't watch everything. I'm getting tired, you guys. Should have me through it. Yeah, yeah, you could feel like that. It's one of those things, you yeah, know, you gotta... Zoom lock has... Yeah, for commercial, zoom lock would, you know, be good. Um, uh, yeah, 350... Oh, okay, three, three, 3500 is to get, like, a, like the assortment of fittings and the tool. I heard if you buy a lot of fittings, you get the tool free. Unless that's the same thing. Stay bright. Stub on truck. Just... Yeah. Yeah, I want to. I want to try stay bright. It's the only thing is, you know, it's not good for filling up gaps. Seventeen eight seventeen fifty worth of fittings, and you get the tool free, or. How you doing? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Maybe it was just, I think it was just putting stuff away. I think they're getting close. I mean, close to closing time here. Loss prevention. Yeah, I don't blame them. I've seen someone steal something last time I was here. Yeah, later, Joe. I didn't get out my coupons. Joe knows what the coupons are about. I 
the alkaline batteries. Yeah, I haven't tried those. I just buy I just buy the Amazon alkaline batteries. Yeah, you're welcome, Pete. Yeah, Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. It was fun. It's kind of fun streaming. I'm gonna be streaming like Home Depot and stuff during the Christmas season, show off the tool sales and stuff. Yeah, thanks. I'll keep it up. Yeah, I'll make sure to use the coupons. Yeah, Home Depot. Yeah, Home Depot has good Christmas stuff. Live stuff's kind of fun. All right, guys. We'll see ya. Thanks for watching. All right. See you, Nick. Smash that like button. Remember. Later, guys.